So a quick Microsoft Flight Sim video for you today that might hopefully help some of you fellow VR simmers out. We all know that Sim Update 7 really broke the game for us. We can't use the toolbar at all or any of the windows and it really makes life difficult and the current workaround is generally pressing Control Zero which takes you to Instrument View 10 and then it's all accessible again either with the mouse or a VR controller. The problem is not every aircraft such as this one has an Instrument View 10 or if they do some of them are just not aligned at all when they're they're like looking down here or they're nowhere near where you want them to be. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can adjust a view where your mouse and VR controller will work and it will be exactly as you're seeing it now and you can do it for every aircraft and you don't even need to reload the sim, you can just change them on the fly. So let's get started now. I'm in the uh, uh, MB339 at the moment. We'll use this as my first example. This is quite a simple one. First thing you've got to do to make life easy is go into Options, Developers, turn on Developer Mode. And that just means we can reload the plane and change plane on the fly. No reloading of the sim, etc. So there we go, so we want Windows Aircraft Selector open. Right, the next thing to do is wherever you've got your aircraft installed, I've just got a few here installed at the moment, whether they be in the community folder or elsewhere linked in, just go wherever they're installed. And right now, as I say, we're in the India Fox Te uh, Teco MB339. So go into the aircraft, sim objects, airplanes. This is the one we're in, the top one here. I mean, if there's different variants, obviously they have a different, they have their own uh, cameras files. So you'll have to change them unless you fly the one variant. Liveries doesn't matter. Obviously, it's the actual um, body of the aircraft itself. So you go into your aircraft folders, sim objects, airplanes, and you basically get to this file here: cameras.cfg. First thing I do to be safe: right-click, copy, and paste that gives you just a backup I'm just going to leave that there so as and when hopefully a fix comes out I can go through and just revert back to default by deleting my modified ones and putting them back by deleting the copy bit if that makes sense so I just keep that there you, you don't need to do that but you know All right then just go into cameras in fact open up two copies of it and all we need to do here, see this top one is the view you're looking at now, the pilot view. So I'm going to scroll down uh, to find instrument view 1. And then this is the first, I'm going to show you two examples. Um, now I don't need, I don't use instrument views because I'm in VR, so I like to keep it real. So if I just keep scrolling down, uh, instrument view 1 here is the one I'm going to replace. Okay, so this is a quite easy example. A lot of aircrafts do have this instrument view one. If you don't, I'll show you what to do in a moment. Very simple. And all we need to do now is essentially make them pretty much the same. And you line them up like this. Sometimes you'll notice that like the view you're going to edit has a lot more or a lot less. Um, and I just copy the lines that either are there, aren't there. But generally they match up like one to one. Occasionally the one you're going to change won't have swivel on and I think that's what enables you to move the camera around maybe but you don't even need that in VR. Anyway the easiest thing to do is just make sure they all match up. Obviously leave title, GUID, all that the same. It's just the actual numbers etc. So for example I don't know exactly what difference this makes but initial zoom so I'm going to put that 0.35 there we go. I've noticed they're different sometimes everything else is the same the one main thing this is the main point is you just copy these copy and paste them over job done click save close both of them now and right so you can see that currently that's what control one does and I would be able to use the mouse and so on in VR reload the aircraft this is what's good about developer mode I'll just reload the camera CFG right I'm gonna press control one now 
camera hasn't moved but I can use the mouse and everything in VR and to make the point clear cameras pilot view instrument view dashboard it's now not moving down so now I can use everything in VR fantastic alright so that's easy enough let's do a slightly harder example uh, of an aircraft that doesn't have instrument view 1 so let's pick the Spitfire load that up right, so now I'm going to go back to where my aircraft are listed flying iron Spitfire, sim objects, airplanes flying iron Spitfire, cameras I'm going to right click copy, right click, paste load it up twice minimize that so this one doesn't have if I go in here, if you scroll through here you wouldn't find instrument uh, 1 or instrument view 1 like a lot of them listed so some of them are listed differently so all you've got to do really to find it is look just go to your cameras instruments the top one is instrument dashboard right so look, if I put it back on pilot if I press control 1 that's where it takes me instrument dashboard so that's you know the name of it basically so you come in here and we can see you scroll down a bit there you go instrument dashboard which is the same one simple as and again just a question of putting them similar so like here in this was it I'm going to just put that the same or zero everything else looks the same copy it I think this bit on this aircraft is to do with vibration I assume but anyway just copy the whole lot copy paste save close close okay so we're now the control one is still moving it down there reload the aircraft and uh, control one is no longer moving it down so control two control three the only instrument views control one and again just to clarify we're in pilot view instrument view dashboard and there we go we can use everything in VR right I hope that makes sense I tried to make it as quick and concise as I could it's essentially copying over the coordinates is the main thing to your control one view which pretty much every aircraft will have a control one view and that's job done you can just go through your entire list if you really wanted and um, changing them as you go obviously you don't need to go into each livery to do it just go into the actual main aircraft uh, you know main aircraft folder not into all these liveries that's just livery so it's, it looks more daunting on here than it is to change every aircraft you don't go to load up every single thing here so yeah that'll do it uh, any questions comments if you've got a better way a better workaround or maybe some patch system <laughs> that would automate it that'd be great I don't know hopefully a hotfix gets announced soon they said uh, communication was delayed because of Thanksgiving obviously that's all over now so you know let's keep our fingers crossed that something is announced in the very near future but for now that'll do it and I'll catch you later cheers